。OK, we are reading. シュリーシュリーシュシャシタカン。ページ26。ラストパラグラフ。シュリーマンマハパブセル。So we are continuing. Commentary of Ananda Das Babaji on the second verse of Shikshashtakam. Sriman Mahaprabhu said, Niyamita Smarane Nakalaha. O、oh、Lord. You have not set any strict rules about when to hear, chant, or remember your holy name. Any person at any time. In any circumstances, can sing your name.、Uh -huh. Beautiful.、Mm. Beautiful. So, welcome. Whenever you feel it, please, please share us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, any person at any time in any circumstance can sing your name. So, I have one story.、Uh. Maybe many people know. s <laughs> One day, so Mahaprabhu was g o to the toilet. At that time, Mahaprabhu's sadhana is like a, you know, And the hand in the, in, in, in the mouth.、Yeah. And he stopped chanting, you know, kind of, don't chant to Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Then one small child seeing and asking a question Mahaprabhu, why you are doing like this? Why you, are, why you do like this? Then, child, and then Mahaprabhu said, no, this toilet is a very dirty place. If chant the holy name is not good, then child said, Mahaprabhu, if you are going to die in the toilet, what will be happen? You don't chant Hare Krishna? Or you chant Hare Krishna? So chanting Hare Krishna, it does not matter which place, isn't it? Mahaprabhu. And the Mahaprabhu was thinking, yes. You are right. Yes, if we, if we going to die in the toilet, at that time, yeah, we have to chant holy name of the Lord. Yes, now you, I will change your name. You are now changing Gopara Guru. You are, your name is, and then he b e c o m e Gopara Guru, is his name. And then he b e c o m e later on, he b e c o m e real good. And、uh, so that's the story was there. So, you know, sometimes we may think, you know, oh, in the toilet we cannot chant, or this place we cannot. But、uh, he, this year said, not to any strict rule, any time, any circumstance, means any place also. Of course, if we cannot, we can chant in the, in the, in the mind. In the. So, this is, you know, small story.
is this maybe possible that, that we can bring the love and pureness to other rooms, to other places when we chant? Yes. So why not in toilet? Uh, yes, I understand. Yes, yes. <laughs> But yeah. also sometimes, you know, some people, little demoniac people, some people may disturb them. Oh. If we sing, if we chant kind of, you know, loudly, or sing loud, you know, it's purifying, but some people become angry sometimes. So in that case, we can chant in their mind. So therefore, sadhu, they don't, they don't show off chanting this kind of, you know, in the chada or, you know, they don't say so much loudly, many, many sadhu. So, any so. Mm. In his <clears throat> Hari Bhakti Vilasa, Srila Sanatana Goswami quotes verses from the Vishnu Dharmotara and the Skanda Purana to prove that there are no hard and fast rules as to when and where to chant the holy name. So it is said, there are no strict fast rules as to when and where the name is to be chanted. It can be chanted in any contaminated, meaning impure place, by any contaminated, impure person. There is no restriction in time, place, circumstance, or purity. In all circumstances, the holy name fulfills all desires. It is also said, I offer my obeisances again and again to those ones, to those persons who chant the holy name even while speaking even while eating, while sleeping, walking, and rising up. The revealed scriptures and the saints have set rules for such devotional items as mantra japa, which is meditating on the one's initiation mantra, seva, deity worship, etc. One must take a bath, put on clean clothes for that, for instance. But the chanting of the holy name is not dependent on such considerations of purity 
and impurity. So maybe many people know <coughs> this mantra japa means generally speaking Gayatri mantra. And deity worship also we need some some kind of qualification. Usually after diksha, we can do deity worship, generally speaking. So and in that case, we have to take bath, we have to put on clean clothes and some rule and regulation. So if we do not do this, then some offense. So, but uh, chanting the holy name, like Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. It's not depend, dependent on such consideration of purity and impurity. That is so nice, actually. Because in India, many people stay in purity. But the Western world, you know, we go to the toilet, you know, we touch some dirty things. So sometimes we don't care so much. So, but this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, he said, this, it, this book said, it doesn't matter. So this is so much, but it's a kind of, mm. uh, for us, great benefit, great uh, opportunity to purify ourselves and also please the Lord. Then Sriman Mahaprabhu said, Etadrishi Tava Kripa Bhagavan Mamapi Durdaivam Idrisham Ihajani Nanuragaha. O oh Lord, your holy name is so extraordinarily merciful. But my misfortune is so great that I have no attachment for your holy name. Oh Lord, your holy name is so extraordinarily merciful. But my misfortune is so great that I have no attachment for your holy name. The scriptures and the saints say that only offenses committed to the holy name can deem like uh, yeah lessen its greatness diminish deem like yeah, cover. There is no greater misfortune in this world for a practicing devotee than to commit offenses to the holy name. Could you explain some comments on this matter? Oh, yeah. Um, offense is uh, like a <laughs> war world. War word means attack. You know when we we know when we attack. 
what is the what is the state of heart of heart when we <clears throat> think attacking will bring me good result therefore i attack mm -hmm. to attain like something i will attain good by attack yeah it's very unfortunate uh, how to say state of consciousness so here <laughs> with holy name offense to the holy name means we attack the holy name what is the attack comes from uh, ignorance we somehow we are so misfortunate that we cannot we hear the holy name we hear maybe also the glories of holy name but we cannot believe true that is true and this this uh, doubt is attack i don't believe that holy name is so so merciful no rules no regs everywhere anytime any person and all the power and sweetness of radha and krishna is there and sorry i don't believe yeah and if i don't believe in holy name <laughs> what is what is my attitude to those who chant holy name who believe in holy name again attack <laughs> scriptures glorify holy name again attack you know so it's just this attack offense uh, offensive uh, uh, consciousness just spreads to all that is holy name and connected to holy name and of course we are out yeah very interesting this attack mm. attack means like i feel this ego mm. i know i know better than you <laughs> i know better than god because i'm god <laughs> you don't know like yeah. this kind of you know very puffed up yeah. very pride nature mm. uh, but also i feel that that attacking holy name is the first it's also relation with the holy name. Without a relation. It's relation. Attack oh. to the holy name is also relation. So by attacking holy name, we get into thinking also, oh, maybe. Not just attack, but also like, I'm attacking, but maybe there's some truth. Because of the contact with holy with holy name mm. and the persons that chant holy name maybe i'm attacking now mm. but also there is doubt if maybe i'm not right mm. these people are happy dancing giving food <laughs> nicely behaving and maybe i'm just stupid or just this morning i was like quarreling with my wife and then now I'm taking <laughs> these peaceful people <laughs> chanting <laughs> like this, you know. So I think there is also, when we attack holy name, there is a chance then, this is opportunity also to be get freed of, 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 slowly get freed of offenses. If we don't think of holy name mm. at all, mm. of course we don't attack. We don't know about holy name. But then we hear holy name, attack the holy name. But this is how holy name is merciful. It stays, it tolerates, we hear more, mm. we la la la. It, it does something, even if we attack, mm. holy name works. Holy name is Radha and Krishna. Mm. There is no more merciful mm. <laughs> persons than Radha and Krishna. So I think they come.
come as a holy name, they tolerate attack and they give more chance. They stay. Attack, stay. Attack, stay. Then less attack, less attack. Place. This is how I feel. Yeah. The holy name. Works. Like how said, you know, like sometimes we are chanting holy name and say, you know, what this guy? They are chanting Hare Krishna. Why is they chant Hare Krishna? They are crazy, you know. And sometimes they they are knowingly knowing they chant, they chant it. and then slowly, slowly purify. <laughs> After some time, <laughs> you know, my friend, my friend is very funny. Halloween time. Halloween time. Before Halloween is America. It's chanting, you know, San Kirtan, you know. And then, you know, he he makes some kind of joke, you know. He wear like devotees clothes, shave head, and then make fun, you know. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And then they did some kind of play. Uh-huh, like drama, play. Drama. <laughs> you know, Hare Krishna people are really bad, you know, like mm-hmm. they are shave head, they are chanting, dancing, you know, he, <laughs> he like this, and you know, they kind of parody, uh-huh. kind of joke, you know, some small, <laughs> small drama. But uh, after that, he became devotee. <laughs> he met again devotee, <laughs> and he did, oh, oh my God, Hare Krishna actually very, very nice, you know. <laughs> my friend like this. So sometimes joking, sometimes, you know, even, you say, even it, offending. You know, a little bit offensive, a little bit, you know. Yeah. But still, sometimes it's working. <laughs> and also, I'm feeling, say, for example, if someone like Raseshwariji, then, so one person doesn't like Raseshwari. That person cannot taste Raseshwari's good nature. Right? But if someone who loves Raseshwari, then that person could understand, oh, Raseshwari is very kind. Actually, you know, he's so, so nice. Mm-hmm. Kind of, you know, good quality can, can understand. Mm-hmm. So similarly, at first we, are, we don't know holy names. We don't have not so much relationship with the Holy Name. But uh, we start chanting slowly, slowly, taste coming. So, wow. Mm. You know, it means that means someone knows, kind of, you know, Raseshwari or Sudevi. We don't know first time, you know, first meeting, you know, I don't have, you know, I'm not so much impression. But slowly, slowly talking, you know, eating together, you know, talking, go together. And then, oh, this is very nice girl. It's nice lady. You know, kind of appreciation coming. Mm-hmm. Then, with kind of love, mm-hmm. kind of desperation is coming. Mm-hmm. So holy name is also, I feel like this. At first, you know, we, we, don't, we don't know anything. We don't feel anything. We may not feel. But slowly, slowly, some taste is coming. The, Attachment to coming, then holy name respirate so much. Then if someone who attend prema, but to speak prema, you know, completely like a mad, mm-hmm. like a Mahaprabhu, or like a, like a Sadhu Maharaj. Can I share something? Sure. Um, I remember the, the words of Udava. He said. To know someone means to love someone. And this is for me, for me it was the same in the holy name. It was sent, um, I didn't know anything and it was the language, I didn't know the language. Yeah. So uh, the language was very foreign for me and all the rituals were foreign. So I... I look from a distance and then when I heard Gurudev, I watched Gurudev and his explanation about the holy name, the embracing, Swamini comes to Krishna, embrace him and he come, embraces her and they were together and they were looking to the manjari in the manjari, in white manjari, something like this, Gurudev has much nicer words. 
But these, with these pictures, it opened, for me, it opened a door to the holy name. And only the words, for me, it's not so easy. But with this picture and with the love and to think about their love when they want to come together or they separate. And then I began to know a little bit about it. Mm. And feelings come. Mm. And when I remember this and the feeling comes, then it opens the door to the holy name. And I know there's, there are so many secrets I don't know this and I'm waiting for the opening for these secrets. And I'm sure that there are so many secrets when I watch Guru Dev, when I watch you, the devotees who are so deeply in love and deeply chanting this holy name. And I see you in ecstasy or very, yeah, uh, fatigued, um, deep in the name. I... I have an idea how wonderful it can be when the holy name is really deeply inside of me and is chanting inside of me. Yeah. Radhe, Radhe. You want to share? And I think Raseshwari Ji said very interesting, very thing in the consciousness. Once, you know, say, Uddhava Ji said, if we consciousness means love, you know, kind of love starting. I also remember in material world, you know, nothing, you know, I'm nothing, you know, I don't, I don't like, I don't, I don't dislike, but uh, once consciousness, some people say, oh, this person likes you. Then some consciousness, you know, then I conscious, then start, you know, liking is start. So similarly, Guru Dev say, you know, conscious and unconscious. So I think if we conscious holy name, then also holy name also conscious with us. If I consciousness Raseshwari Ji, I conscious Andaka Ji, then uh, you know Raseshwari Andaka Ji also conscious with me. And then kind of relationship will start. Love start. I think holy name also like this. At first, we don't conscious so much. But we think, oh, let, wait a minute. Actually, we have to more conscious, you know, I have to more concentrate. Yes. Conscious. Then more taste is coming. And the name is not different from Radha Mohan. Yes. So slowly, slowly understand actually name and Radha Mohan is not different. Because if we love somebody, they automatically name is coming. Name coming and then remembrance coming. And also want to hear more and more. Then love more and more. This is Bhakti's process. This Shurabana, Kirtana, Vishnusmana. This is same process in this material world. But difference is we just change the object of which we want to love. So therefore, Guru Dev said, in this material world, someone who is very attached, someone, you know, someone or, or something, then easy to become devotee. But if, if someone who does not attach anything, and difficult to attach Radha Moha make them to attach Rana So just to, actually, Bhakti is not so difficult. Just we have to change the object, material object to spiritual object, material object to Radha Mohan, our Ishta Deva. That is, this is consciousness, Uddhava Ji today say, this is very, very, I think, important thing to, for especially also chanting. Sorry, I know. Thank you. Mm. 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 Mm
Come, you can sit. Also. Yeah. So you can sit. No, I no, just no, no, put the no, chair. No, 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 you can. <laughs> I um, I want to share the story about the friend that you told. Is I'm similar. Yeah. Yes. So I'm very connected to a Shiva um, places, and I have a guru also in that tradition many years, and then. Um, this was somehow not continuing and I feel something inside me like, oh, I want to go to a Krishna place, but I don't know where, I don't know when and how and no idea. And somehow I listened to this um, guru um, mantra we sing in the morning, Charanaravindam, Vande mm. Guru Shri Charanaravindam. And for some reason, I like this song very much. And I study uh, movement with a teacher from, from Java and we do uh, in the workshops, we do small performances. It's about the inner movement coming mm -hmm. from inside, so intuitive movements. So we do small performances and for whatever reason, mm -hmm. I don't want to present a movement, but I pick four strophe, four stunts from this Vande Guru Shri and I sing in front of the people. And I know they have absolutely no relation with this very few little go to india but somehow i really want to sing this and and after that i meet madhuri in a birthday party oh. of a friend you know oh. so i never come to iskon temple in cologne even it is in my town i never go there i go straight to dole and uh, then straight meet gurudev via madhuri so it was so Amazing, somehow this happening. No, I want to share one time. Yeah. So, which year are this is about? Oh, maybe eight, nine years ago. Gurudev, when Gurudev came? No, Gurudev was in that time not in Dole. Two years he cannot come, and then we meet in Merten in Germany when he come to Saduma and Sudevi oh. and have program in the castle. Oh. Very beautiful castle there and Saduma and Sudevi arranged big big program and Gurudev was coming, Madhuri wants to take initiation and he kind of come, come, you have to, you have to. more than ten years ago. Yes, yes. ten years even yeah. I saw a picture in that place. It is we stay I know we we visit uh, yeah. I forgot that in the and very big, big place, that, that kind of hotel, kind of, you know, some kind of... Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, so sorry, sorry, I don't want to deviate. Okay. Too much. Mm -hmm. This mantra really strong. I think this songs, no? They travel. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe, can I say something? Sure, sure. So, um, about, about this... Uh, um, uh, to be consciousness, to, to have consciousness during the chanting, how to chant consciously. Mm. So uh, uh, for me, uh, it means to be situated in the sty bow. So it's like, um, like consciousness is the symptom of the soul, no? But if I'm uh, aware of uh, my spiritual body, so I'm a manjari and I, my soul is ra Radharani, like Gurudev said. No? So symptom of this uh, soul will be consciousness of uh, maid servant. So um, holy name will remember me that I'm Radha Dasi and also uh, I'm chanting to remember myself to the time Radha Dasi. So I think that this is the something like a, a conscious chanting. Otherwise, I cannot imagine, because I remember when Prabhupada <clears throat> said that uh, Holy Name should be chanted 24 hours. But it is impossible, actually, if there is not this kind of affection. That uh, Holy Name remember, remind me that I'm the servant of Radhika and and um, only, only in this way I can chant always, all the time. Uh, so I, I have one question. Uh, we mentioned before uh, chanting in the moment of the dead. No, 
So what what should be different in the moment of the dead and every day? What 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 will happen in that moment? Uh, why is so necessary to chant also in the moment of the of the dead? Why is this so different than the chanting every day in the consciousness in in consciousness mood? So, like uh, say. If we have a kind of, you know, some play kind of baseball or, suck, you know, soccer, whatever sports, tennis also. If we have, you know, tennis match or, you know, baseball, you know, some play. At that time, so if we have enough exercise, we can perform, you know, we, we can play in good performance. But uh, if we don't practice so much, then we are so much afraid we cannot do good performance. So similarly, day-to-day -day practice, this comes to the, at the time of death. So therefore, why Guru Dev say 24-7? Because at that time of death is actually most difficult situation. For example, say we are sometimes we go to the sea for swimming. Sometimes we are drowning. At that time, we, we are helpless. Difficult to breathe, you know. At that time, very difficult time, what we remember. That is most, we attach something, that something is coming to my, in, in, my, in our heart. So at that time of death is not so easy time for us. So therefore we need to practice 24 seven. Otherwise any deviation, like Bharata Maharaj, he was practicing so much, so many sadhana, he was attending almost barbarous platform, lati platform, but still just attach small deer. Then at that time, he remember deer. So next day he become deer's body. So therefore, Guru Dev's teaching is, you know, 24-7. And the Mahaprabhu say, Kirutanya Sadahari. Means if possible, 24-7 we should chant. So this is a, you know, humble answer. Also, I want to share one thing. Yesterday, we, we went to see the Mahanidhi Gopal, uh, Mahanidhi Madana Gopal Baba in Radha Kunda. And I was asking question. My question was like this. So some Indian or someone who stay in Radha Kunda or Brindavan always and do meditation, Raga Bhajan, this is very fortunate. But in many cases, us, we are foreigner. We cannot stay long time in Braja sometimes. Many people cannot stay Braja. Or some people cannot come. That person, how can get perfection? How can get Swarupa City? This is my question. So, and one is answer is like this. You chant as you think you are Manjari. That is the same answer, Dayanidi. Didi. Didi. No, no, Dayanidi. Baba. Actually, he's Didi, actually. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. She. So, anyway, so this is, this is consciousness. What kind of consciousness we chant? What kind of consciousness, consciousness we do sadhana? What type of consciousness we behave to others? That is come to in the time of death, at the time of death. So therefore, even though we have sadhaka deha or siddha deha, we, 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 we always try to remember how we are radha dasi. And to remember the easy, easiest thing is chanting holy name as a manjari. 
that is, so yes, that is, you know, Mahanidhi, Baba's answer. So this is very interesting in, in this connection. Rade, rade. Yes. 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 Prashant Bhaiya, he's asking you mm. how to do the chanting when you are also talking at the same time. So actually, chanting should concentrate without talking. That is the most better thing. Best thing is without chanting, you know, without talking, we chant. That is the best thing. But some people say like, so if we if we drive the car, for example, drive the car. When at first driving from beginners, you know, we cannot we cannot talk. Someone want to talk. Hey, you know, you know, today's you know, are you going to this place? Sorry, I'm driving. You know, I'm beginner. Don't talk with me. Mm. Mm. But uh, somehow is very experienced, you know, like Prashanta Bhaiya. You know, <laughs> he very expert driving, you know, like 20 years, 30 years. I don't know how many years he driving. Maybe 30 years or something. So he can talk, you know, he can, you know, even he can, you know, pick the, some, you know, phone. He can do anything if we become expert. So some of, someone who is very expert is, is, is cannot forget holy name, <clears throat> even though someone who is talk, you know, uh, talking or someone you know, cannot forget holy name. That we may say, but the better, better is chanting the chanting. And last time we have a question to Mahanidhi Baba. And Mahani Baba saying, his Guru Dev told Mahani Baba, when you go to shopping, don't bring Japa beads. Because Japa beads, also Japa also should be sit one place, that is best. Of course, walking also best, you know, okay, but without talking is best. But uh, someone who cannot do this and then, you know, also can do, some, someone who is a very expert can do. But the best way is without talking, sitting one place, doing, you know, Japa meditation. So Gurudeva suggesting in this case, go shopping or some go play, some place, use, better to use small mara, like a 27 mara. That is a suggestion. So this is, I don't know, is this okay? Prashant Bhaiya. Yes, thank you. So it means, it means when one thinks that he's the doer, it's more difficult to chant. If one see that he's a viewer like this uh, guy who's, go who's guiding the car and he have some experience about that and he don't think anymore that he is the doer but if we are concentrated that we are the doer wow. that is more difficult to chant wow. and to, uh, wow. this, this is way very, can... very good mm -hmm. point doer and viewer so Dainidi Baba saying this is very good point because doer means we are acting by false ego but the viewer means no false ego. So Manjari is actually, Manjari is acting as a viewer, always seeing. And then Fatoeba, and then very humble, very viewer can understand what, what our Ishtadeva needs. 
Like I、uh, say, like、uh, here, I don't know, Kana is there, I, I don't know, some devotee is there, so serving Gurudev. If Dua, if someone who is thinking I'm Dua, then cannot see Gurudev properly. But someone who is a viewer, or、oh, what Gurudev need, what Gurudev want, that viewer servant could serve Gurudev nicely. But someone thinking I'm Dua, I'm serving Gurudev, then He may not serve properly to the Guru Dev. So, Dainidi Baba saying is, I think, right. Very good point. Dua <laughs> and Dua or Bua. Chananda, may I also ask one question to this point of chanting in the time of the death? Yes.、Um, I'm asking myself if, if we want to do the chanting,、uh, we, we try to do the chanting without the result. no? Yes. So maybe this chanting in the time of death,、uh, what, what, why we do this? What we, like, we, we are asking for some results there, or why we have to do the chanting in the time of the death? Question, could you say again? I could not understand. Like, for what reason is it important to do the chanting in the time of the death? What's the reason? Reason. reason. For, why? For the reason of the chanting of the last moment. Without expecting something, but at the time of death, if we chant, do we expect to reach somewhere? Do we expect something in return? Yeah, like,、uh, you know, we want to remember lovers. We want to forget, we don't want to forget our Ishtadeva, our lovers. So if, say, if Kanai loves Kishori, then Kanai does not want to forget at any time, even at the time of death. Right? So if we love Ishtadeva, then automatically, you know, at the time of death also we want to remember Ishtadeva. Consciousness goes in that frequency. Yes, in then. Yes, so we want to serve 24 7. Then at the time of death, also we want to serve in this lifetime, also next lifetime. Whenever we situated. If, if we go to, you know, Goroka Brindaban, that's very fine. But even we go to some, you know, any planet, if we can serve the Lord, our Ishtadeva, Among the, you know, in the association with devotee, that's fine also. So, main thing is we don't want to forget our Ishtadeva, especially our Swamini. That is a small answer. It's a big answer, my friend. That's the most important thing. I don't know, is it okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> Shori will join and just make her Japanese translator when she joins. Another point, also to, re- to answer for the, mo- for the moment of the death, what Krishna is saying in the Bhagavad Gita. Leave all the religion, abandon all the religion, and think to me, love to me, and you come to me. The same thing is with Swamini. If at the moment of death we think to Swami, our progress in loving、uh, relation will go, our consciousness will develop more. That's the most important thing. That's our preparation in this lifetime <laughs> to get at that moment of death. In this material form, the spiritual form, and go and fly, no come back. It's not my word, it's Krishna word and Swami word. What we are doing here, all together, devotee with Sad, Guru Mat, Guru Deva, and all our parampara, that we go, we want to 
reach their loving uh, relation and being with them, being that frequency, this life, next life, whole lives. <laughs> and that's just the mantra help, the sadhana help, <laughs> association devotee help, the Vedas. Why all these things, all these ingredients? And we are part of these ingredients <laughs> to do what is our duty. Chanting, study, associate, serving. And next life, at the moment of death, I will think, oh, Krishna, oh, Swamini. And the conscience fly. This is my few realizations that I had. And I'm happy for this realization. That is the beauty of our... Uh, uh, Swamini consciousness, Radha Krishna consciousness, whatever you want to say. But that's the most important thing that we want to live with them. We want to serve in them. You, every day, you're talking slowly. about this. A little bit slowly because of translators. Just <laughs> Sorry. Bit. But, but you, you understand my, my opinion huh? about all this. And you are a crazy person. <laughs> and you are a, just funny. But you are real, real life, so <laughs> my God. <laughs> realize or not realize, I am who I am, and I am happy to be here because thanks to all of you, I'm a progress in this idea, in this philosophy, in this science of the loving spirit. <laughs> and wherever I go, I do only two things. I present the Veda and the philosophy and my Kang and water. <laughs> That's all my duty in this life. <laughs> Loving and water. <laughs> Devotee and give it up and give water. <laughs> Maraj, I am an actor, Maraj. I can perform some different parts. <laughs> acting and reality. But acting for Radha Krishna Seva is is my joy. Wherever I go, I remember Krishna. I remember you. I remember devotee. Without devotee, this life is miserable. I've been everywhere, you know, in my in my life, in the materialistic mood uh, with millionaire, whatever. But Krishna was my first millionaire <laughs> when I met Lord Krishna. And all the devotees and Srila Prabhupada and you and now swim Swamini. What else, Jewel? What whatever you guys can have more. <laughs> I had more in materialistic life. Now I want to have a consciousness in spiritual life. <laughs> if I'm not realized or not, that is my goal and my dream and my objective. And you know that, my love. Hello, cow. <laughs> I do my savings to the cow here in Italy, whatever I I can. Whatever you can catch. <laughs> and I do with my heart. May I serve you? In, in, in all circumstances, I'm always your servant. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. If I am some beautiful, it's to you, Mara. So if I am. 31 years loving relation with you. We have been many years in separation. But I have to thank, I'm very grateful to you. To Srila Prabhupada, to all the Vaishnava, if now I am some little realization. And I am, I am a happy devotee. It's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for my nature, I am always happy. Thank you. Hi, Dani. Hi, Dani. Thank you. Okay, maybe Go reading. Mm -hmm. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Lila, Chapter Eight, we find. One utterance of Krishna's name destroys 
all sins and causes devotion and love of God to appear. When prema, love of God, arises in devotee's heart, he shows all its symptoms. Sweating, shivering, Horripilating. Hair standing on end. Faltering of voice. Crying streams of tears. Liberation from the material world, which is attained by serving Krishna, is easily attained by simply once uttering the name of Krishna. When you chant this name of Krishna many times, but still you don't feel love, and there are no tears of love streaming from your eyes, then I know that there must be many offenses committed so that the seed of Krishna's name cannot sprout. One may ask here if the glories of the holy name are so unhindered, then why is there still consideration of offenses? If offenses deem the greatness of the name, then how can the holy name be called unrestricted in power, all powerful? Mm. And the answer is that mist cannot cover the sun. They may cover, like, they may cover, but it's covering the sun only from our eyes. Hmm. Because this mist covers the sun, the sun rays cannot fall on us. Similarly, nothing can actually cover the self-manifest greatness of the holy name 
But offenses cover our hearts in such a way that the powers of all powerful holy name cannot fall into our hearts. But when the mist dissolves, the sun rays can again fall on us unhindered. Similarly, when offenses disappear, the strength of the holy name is freely experienced in the heart. It's just like a king who is able at any time to make any poor man rich. But if the king is displeased with someone and he does not want to give his wealth to him, it does not mean that king is not able to give that wealth. In the same way, the holy name is able to give prema to the offensive chanter. But holy name will not give it because holy name simply does not want to give it. And that is why the practicing devotee should chant the holy name carefully avoiding committing offenses. Even Radhe. Yes. Hare Gurudev, I was wondering then if Radhani is all merciful and compassionate and so is Garanga. Garanga gave also the Maha Mantra. Then why is is it not so compassionate that it even can see beyond the offenses? Or why is it not this is hard for me to understand? Or is mercy still penetrating even through our offenses? Actually, holy name is giving as for your desire. Mm. Desire, if any material thing that will be, mm. you will involve you more in that. What is your mind going, that is your desire. <clears throat> my mind is going where is my desire. So holy name, that moment you chant, it will more you want that. And holy name give that. <coughs> Knowingly, by mistake, mm. I need material thing. Mm. Then he give material thing. Mm. But not prema, yeah. not loving relation with his Lord. He, he has mentioned love not coming. Mm. Material thing can achieve or not achieve as per your capacity. Mm. But your mind will involve more for that. So mind has to be balanced, but I need what there I have to keep it. Mm. Why I chant holy name to keep my mind 
in a holy name to achieve the highest nectar that the love of you that is more purity than I want you, I want from you what is good. I want, I chant your name for you. I remember to you to, to be close to you. And one I want from you, from that I am chanting. So there are two reasons of remembering you. Right? Right. This Guru is why he also say it's so important to balance material life, otherwise mind will always also go there, no? That has to be. That is the thing to see. Mind where I go, I am there. Mm. What I dream, what I do, where my mind is going. Mm. So wise person, what they do, they intelligently balance their mind what I have to do. Mm. For that way we want to listen, we want association for that person where I want to be there. Why you come from Norway? <laughs> because you become tired with this Norway circumstances, because all friends are bringing mind out for some material thing. You want to make peace to your mind to come to the reality in love. <laughs> Yeah. We are never satisfied with the material thing, just a limitation. Mm -hmm. If the wealth and power, money and anything give comforts to you, then no need to have, be unhappy. But if you search money, giving happiness. Where is my happiness? Where is my peace? Love? Satisfaction? Is coming through the loving action. If there is emptiness of love, peace is not there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so Gurudev, yeah, you, you want you want to say that uh, the mood is the almost the same importance like uh, Maha Mantra. The mood is like uh, like a navigator, and we learn from Gurudev this mood. Yeah, mind. Mood means my mind. Mm. Mm. Automatic where is going. We have to consciousness of your mind because mind is influenced by my false ego. What I not I am. False means not a reality. That is false. False is not truth, but my mind captured by false ego. So they want not listen to me. How Guru can help us when my mind is want something what is is false? Guru cannot help you in false. Then Guru keep distance because we not listen. Because of my false ego, we not like to listen. The reality. These are I like a one water flow. 
Mm. If you want to stop the water flow, you have to create one dam. And that reservoir and the gate, because when the heavy flow will come, then you open the gate. So that is the blockage. I block myself the real flow in my false ego. My false ego is a blocking me in my flow, real flow. This is the truth. Mm. So my flow is blocked <coughs> to reach to the ocean because this water will go to ocean. Mm. So I want to block that. <coughs> It means if you have genuine greed, it can even overcome obstacles, like even offenses. Genuine, genuine greed is we need. Hmm. Why we listen? Because of genuine greed. Hmm. <laughs> How I will remove my blockage? And what is blocking my false hmm. Who show me the wrong way? I think right way, but he, this is wrong way. Hmm. Hmm. I accept the false ego is my way. And the guru, the spiritual person, see, is not right here because it's blocking. Mm -hmm. Your flow is blocked. Your waves are blocked. You have an ordinary real flow. Mm -hmm. Who blocked this flow? When you go to research, you research yourself that my false ego block me. Mm. Right? Mm. <coughs> <coughs> then, if I make the dam, then how to again start the flow? We have to put some dynamite. <laughs> yeah, very heavy dynamite to break. So, without dynamite to break this blockage. Yes, and if we if you all amount is the blockage for that. We have to find the person who create the blockage when he realizes he himself bring the dynamite mm -hmm. and blow, <laughs> mm, remove the blockage. Mm -hmm. uh, he is ready to get the some trouble <coughs> to break something. Okay, the blockage. Huh? And this is only our blockage. Mm -hmm. Is nothing else. But it's not a big job. But breaking the dynamite through the dynamite, one time it will be heavy noise. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. Inside, inside you, but you have agreed for breaking blockage or you want to be in this place. No. Who will decide? Hmm. I have to decide who to. The person who has a blockage, they have to decide it. 
The guru provides the dynamite, no? He helps you with the I feel I have a feeling this is that. Then he got why he will take the pain of putting block of my dynamite to someone who not want to move his blockage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He will never disturb. Mm -hmm. And small blockage he can try, mm -hmm. but heavy blockage. But you both has to cooperate. Mm. The person who has a blockage, he greet for that. And the person who wants, then Guru knows this is the blockage, it's nothing. Mm. Natural flow is blocked. Mm. <coughs> it's not naturality. Mm. Right. Then we give physical sickness, I have. Mental sickness, I have. These are all because I create this. There is no sickness. <laughs> sickness is coming because of my false signal. Right. Mm. What I am not, I am a living person, living soul who is going to die who will live one day this body. Mm. I'm like a fly sitting here in, in this body, and I have no idea where I will fly out. <laughs> fly out. So flying out, why I want to chant? To know the place where to fly and go. <laughs> right. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I will fly with my soul. I will go in the body of the pig or dog <clears throat> or snake. Which body I want? Which which tree you want to go to sit? You are a fly, you will sit in some place, no? mm -hmm. not only flying. Where, where you will sit? You have to know. Mm -hmm. So why I am chanting? <laughs> to know my place to go. Mm. If I don't know the place to go, then what will happen? Mm. I will go as for my karma. Mm. If I am fighting with someone, I will go as a dog. When the dog eat, with the family, they not eat with family. They shout, fight. If the father, daughter and son is eating together with dog, one place they will fight. Mm. You watch. <laughs> Many natures come, animal natures come. Mm. Then I, I decided <laughs> to go there. All the activities we do to reach in different uh, tree to sit. Soul is flying. So is a bird. Right? Is a spirit of God. But is not mine. What to do? We have to to conscious in this body from my spirit, my soul, to see to the savior. Mm. Always I see mm. to see my savior. This see is chanting. Mm. There is two way to see. When soul got soul, if I believe in soul, then I see Savior and I see soul body also. Soul has a feelings, soul has eyes, also ear, and everything, all form. Nose, mouth, feet, all everything, <laughs> but it become divine. Anybody 
is not existing without soul. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. And that soul, that divine body, soul is love. Is a love, and one side is the same. <clears throat> Somebody likes to be with love. Some person like to be with same dear God. And this coming out from material existence to my soul is helping me. Like your name. Helping name. <coughs> name is helping to come out from my false ego. My body is false ego. My senses are false because it is not the permanent. The day soul will go out is a false. Is a, is a, nobody can keep this body 24 hours, 10 hours, 5 hours. Immediately they do bring to the graveyard a burning heart. Why? Because this is false. The day the reality goes, then it becomes false. Reality is my spirit. My soul is reality. To <laughs> come reality with chanting, not live in the false. And when we come to the I fix this mind, then we have a two way to go. One is the Savior, God then we need knowledge more. And one is to be soul, the spiritual body soul. That is love. You want to be in love or you want to be with God? Two choices come. If you want to be love, you have to practice to be loving. And service. Any small service you start doing. Everything make the service is your life. Love will impress you. Automatic love will start flowing inside. And if you want to be with the Savior, God, you have to collect the information to be the pure, to see always to be. But if you choose love, then God will surrender to your love. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> you lead your way. Faith, <laughs> it comes from faith. If then I become hopeful. If there is no faith, I'm hopeless. Mm -hmm. I make myself hopeless. Because of association with the false. <coughs> no faith. False will always say to me, never faith anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No faith exists and become hopeless. So my life is diverted in suffering with faith gives you hope, hope gives you love, love for you, Savior, God. So many want to be with God in information, knowledge, and one in tired with knowledge and information, always want to be with God. This is the reality. And this helps you to be conscious with that.
not leaving false. False creates a free in our mind. Wow. Right or not? See that? <laughs> Finding any books is not there, but I conclude from all literature and Mahajans this verse. <laughs> It moves like this. In small words, I cannot calculate and keep in my mind everything. <laughs> right? False ego and no false ego. One thing, I want to be in false. No problem. You choose it. Nobody can change. I don't want false ego. Then what you want? To know the reality. Then I have to come out from false, right? My blockage. And when I come in the reality, then reality gives me Two ways. But the spiritual body, the spiritual vision, the spiritual air, divine mouth, divine feelings, sweetness, divine all senses. Wow. What a romance we were. Mm. <laughs> you are so beautiful. Right. You are so sweet. <laughs> By your mouth, so sweet words, sweetness words. Pain <laughs> 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 from amor. <laughs> remember, you remember all that loving affair. <laughs> amore, amore, amore. In Japanese, amore. Amore. No, in Japanese. Astema. Astema. When I go to Japan, I will go like that. Astema. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just interrupt for some little humor. So. Yeah, this is, uh, you make humor, humor, make more humor in my spirit, you go. Makes you crazy, Amore. Makes you crazy, Amore. Both are false ego making you crazy. My big false ego, I'm so proud of me. I'm so proud of me. Crazy one. One in time, my one is lying and one is divine. <laughs> what you want? If you want wine, is also available. If you want divine, it's available. Available. Divine available. But this you can buy in the shop. Brunei, divine water. Divine water. My partner, Jesus, touch water. No divine wine, my divine water. Divine water for everybody. This is a divine consciousness and a divine water. This water is the Kankan water, divine. Oh, but no, no, don't pro Very good. Now we will sell three, four hundred thousand pieces, if you say like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Now we enter in the material world. Because the economy, all these things. But necessary. And uh, one is going... Only with one word today, the uh, Kankan uh, energy will fly at the shades. <laughs> <laughs> she, you know, shades. <laughs> anyway, is it? Another topic. 
But you're yeah. divine, divine, divine today. I think your grace, if Dianidi if still have some doubts, they will finish today. <laughs> yeah. He's fighting with his ego. He's finished today. Dianidi, promise, please. <laughs> well, they say something. <laughs> I'm moved with that fight. I'm old. They say I'm old. They are the blockage is there. <laughs> you have to be more in love, and the block is finished. That's what you never say in the life. He was many, many, many years. He likes Italian, so he is he's a love so much going inside. Okay. Love and Danidi. Danidi. Uh, uh, I'm my good friend, I need it. Beautiful relation. So I'm taking you up to share. You. So we are waiting, Gorabani. If you, you know, when, when you come, <laughs> oh, his work is finished. I I just jumped in for some time because there was a little space. So I wanted to have some association with all of you and give my obeisances and ask for your good wishes and blessings, please. <laughs> Uh, you are blessing to us with your Gorwani words. Mm -hmm. Gorwani yes. of his talk about Chaitanya. Yes. yes. We need we need your association. Yeah. <laughs> we need Gorwani. Mm -hmm. yeah. Listen up, Gaur Katha. Yeah. Right. Yes, we all need it. We all need Gauravani, that's true. The real Gauravani we need all. So, Gurudev, please give it to us. You are a price for that. <laughs> yes. So, we are waiting for you, Gauravani Ji. Any, any, any time. <laughs> but he is increasing more and more. What? Desire for Gauravani. Yeah. What? We want to hear Gauravani. Yeah. I think in, in March or April, April, March or April, I, I, I will have time space to go on with Chaitanya okay. Charitamriya. But yeah. since that since that time, you you can share. You are the great Acharya here from Chaitanya Charitamrita from Japan. No, you, you, are, you have you are, so you are, so many so many knowledge and 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 uh, realizations you have you can share no 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 this is true Gormani, this you said true Yananda has many many deep realization <laughs> no no that, but he is a little bit miser now <laughs> <laughs> that you have to come to inspire him <laughs> please come, please come, you know, share, and then we are more inspired. <laughs> you know, one place I'm listening to one center, his name was Atul Krishna Goswami. When he gave classes, a selective person said to sit near to him. And he said after that, you know, you see the cow? Cow can give milk when you bring to the babies, and the babies is shagging the breast of the mother. Mm -hmm. Then the milk starts coming wow. in the stun, we say in Hindi, breast of the mother. Mm -hmm. wow. And then we take out the milk. Mm -hmm. That is the nature of even the speaker. If you are not asking to him, it will not, milk will not come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Rasik has to be there to, to ask the question to how your question is, the feeling is growing like that. So I'm very proud of Dhyanidhi. He inspired every time to everyone. Wow. And I'm proud of the questions. Wow. And his questions also, also very rushing. Always he took us to the point. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> this type of devotee we require to inspire more to the baby cow as a baby to to first to drink some breast milk and push mother to give more milk and all will relish with that. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Then I agree with <laughs> Guru Dev, what I what I was thinking oftenly, I think that uh, I realized that much bigger uh, mercy what we have from you is just this opportunity uh, to be like the cow baby in this association because is something what cannot be described by the world, just feel. And I was thinking. Just that this this is the spiritual master. What we never can pay to the spiritual master. We are forever in debt with him just because of that. And thank you so much, Guru. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.